The barbell back squat setup is very important, so we are going to flip flop back and forth between two clips a few times as we get deeper into the exercise. So the first thing I have my clients do is stretch their thumbs long and put the tip of their thumb at the beginning of the knurl and then make a full grip with their hand. Demonstrated here is a high bar squat. So when we go under the bar, I want you to notice how I wedge myself back and forth a few times. I want you to notice that there is a ridge. It's called the spine of the scapula. So when you pinch your shoulder blades together, it's like you're getting the shoulder blades to touch their two ridges that are on the top of that triangle shape of the shoulder blade. Now I like the high bar squat because I feel like it connects my shoulders and my sit bones. So I feel very, very strong throughout my core. Notice that the elbows drive under the bar. Squat is a full body exercise. It's gonna feel like it's just your legs, but you're gonna grip with your hands hard and you're gonna have the elbows under the bar. So it's like you're driving yourself up from the hands, from the shoulders, from the elbows and the legs. Primarily the force will come from your legs, but this setup with the upper back is gonna allow you to transfer the energy. Set up your rack so the barbell is lower than your collarbones. That way, you're in a semi-squat to get into the equipment, and then all you have to do is straighten your knees to clear the rack. Once you're standing, take a few steps backward. You want to save as much of your energy as possible for the exercise, not walking backward. When you're backward, your heels are gonna be under your sit bones or a bit wider, and your toes are pointed out slightly. The widest position you should probably go is with your heels shoulder distance apart, giving your hips lots of room to sit back into your squat. When you squat, you're gonna take an inhale to prepare and pressurize your spine so it stays straight and stiff. You're gonna go down, spreading your sit bones apart, really pushing your tailbone backward and keeping the chest lifted. On your way up, feel that press up from where your glutes and your hamstrings meet, the very bottom of your butt cheek. When you stand, give yourself a really good butt squeeze, but keep your butt on top of your ankles. In other words, don't press your hips forward so you're bent backwards, kind of like a crescent moon. A lot of people think that that's the best thing to do because they feel like they're standing up all the way, but really they're just overstretching their quads and putting unnecessary pressure into their low back. So it's more important for you to feel that on the way up, where the glutes and hamstrings meet is what's driving you up and you squeeze that as hard as you can when you stand. Holding your breath while you squat is called the Valsalva Maneuver and not everybody agrees with it, but let me just fill you in on something. If you had to push your car if it ran out of gas and you had your door open and a hand on the steering wheel, you would take a really big inhale and then lean forward and push the car. So. Pressurizing your spine is actually what we want to have happen because we don't want the slinkiness of your vertebra and discs to be mobile under load. We want your spine to be stiff as a board, just like your thigh bone or your upper arm bone. We don't want to have a lot of movement throughout the vertebra. So what happens is we take a big gulp of air in, we pressurize it, we kind of like lock ourselves into place, we go down, we come back up, and then we exhale. Now you can let some air out when you're past the halfway point when you're standing. That's totally okay. And we're not lifting to the point where we're gonna see, you know, like veins bulging out of our head and where we're running out of air and we're running the risk of passing out. We are not training that heavy. We're using the Valsalva maneuver in a minimal way just to create that spinal stability while we have a barbell and most likely plates loaded on the barbell, the stronger that we get. 